today to talk to you about how to extend the life of your read and also the top three ways that I see reads die that can oftentimes be avoided. First up, I have what I like to call the bestie. The bestie is your favorite read, the read that you only have eyes for in your read box. Now if you will play on two other reads and cycle through those reads so that you have three reads that dry out in between each time you play them, your bestie will last longer. You'll know when it's time to let go of your bestie because the pitch will start to ride flat. If you can catch it at the very beginning, usually when E or C sharp just start to sink, you can set that aside and then save it for when you go to a higher altitude. I do this living in Alabama because I am a little bit closer to sea level, but I know that I have those reads for when I go to higher altitudes in my back pocket, already performance ready. Next up is what I like to call the fish. Now the fish is one of those where maybe, you know, you had a lot of performances that were very important coming up and you ended up playing on your bestie and only your bestie. Your read maybe didn't have enough time to dry out in between each time you played on it and then it might have started to mold. Now if it starts to mold, it's best to just let it go. That being said, you can easily avoid the mold in, of course, cycling through the three reads, as we noted with the bestie, but also by buying a good read case. I picked up this little number at Miller Marketing for $25. Um, it will hold six reads and they also have another version of it for three reads for $15. I believe it's called the Leatherette case. It has a great clasp on it, so I know the reads are secure, but what I'm most pleased with is that this Leatherette case, because it's not actually leather uh, for those of you who are concerned, it has on the side of it a ventilation hole. This ventilation hole on the side of it means that air will circulate throughout the reeds in the case and will help dry them out in between each time that I'm playing on them. The third type of reed that I think you should maybe look at letting go is what I like to call the troubled artist. Now, first off, we have the Van Gogh. The Van Gogh is a style of reed where maybe you've lost the upper portion of the ears. Uh, this usually happens from maybe over scraping the triangles at the top of the reed, or possibly you can bump it against your tooth or drop it on the floor and it might lose an ear. Now, if it loses just a portion of the ear, it's okay, but full on edge being lost, it's time to let it go. The second type of troubled artist that I often run into is what I like to call the Beethoven. Now, Beethoven never married during his life, but he did actually propose to a very famous soprano who said to him that she would not marry him because he was too ugly and half cracked. So, the Beethoven is when the reed actually cracks, usually down the center of the tip. This can be avoided by always soaking your reed prior to placing a plaque inside of it and also by making sure that you always put a binding on the bottom. This will help it so that if it does fall or you drop it, that the heaviest portion of the reed should hit first. This means that the bottom portion, which is less delicate, will hit, then later the tip will hit. This should help you so that you're less likely to crack the tip. Okay guys, I hope you found this helpful. And if you have a way that you like to extend the life of your read, please leave me a comment down below. I love to get new ideas and feedback so that even I can continue to develop my uh, read ideas and principles. If you enjoyed this, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to make sure that you never miss any tips or tricks, be sure to click the subscribe button so that you always get a notification of when I post a new video. I will see you guys next time. Bye! Everybody knows that on bassoon, the low notes have a tendency to be sharp and also sometimes have a hard time getting the response out. So here are my top three tricks to help